Publish 0909 EDT, the 13th of October 2017 updated 1104 EDT, the 13th of October 2017 It was once South America's wealthiest nation and is loved by tourists for its incredible landscapes and wonders such as the Angel Falls. But Venezuela is increasingly becoming associated with violence, corruption and poverty and risks becoming disconnected from the rest of the world. Especially now that Argentina's national carrier, Aerolinas Argentinas, has discontinued flights to the troubled capital city of Caracas. Natural Wonder Mini visit Venezuela to see its incredible landscapes and sites such as the Angel Falls, pictured, but access is becoming increasingly difficult. The decision means that a total of 11 airlines have now suspended flights over the past three years. These include Avianca, Air Canada, Alitalia, GOL, TRA Air, Lufthansa, LATAM, Aeromexica, and United Airlines. The airlines have cited factors including weak demand, a payment dispute with socialist president Nicolas Maduro's government, and security concerns for their crews on the ground. Months of anti-Maduro protests earlier this year resulted in at least 125 deaths. Citing operational reasons for its decision, Argentine told Reuters in August that it would no longer sell tickets for the flight because of security concerns. Instead, it offered to reroute passengers to Bogota and neighboring Colombia free of charge. The move further isolates Venezuela from international travel routes, leaving just a handful of operators now offering low-frequency flights there. It means that those wishing to overlook the dangers and visit its stunning natural beauty will find doing so harder than ever. Argentina's national carrier, Aerolinas Argentinas, has discontinued flights to the troubled capital city of Caracas. Pictured sites such as Angel Falls, the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall, with a height of 979 meters and a plunge of 807 meters have long attracted tourists. For years people flocked to the geographical wonder in Canema National Park, but overall tourist numbers have plummeted as danger levels soared. According to the World Bank, Venezuela's visitors have dropped from 988,000 in 2012 to 789,000 in 2015, and those figures are thought to have lowered even further in the past 12 months. Since global oil prices plunged in 2015, Venezuela HASNT had the funds to import basic goods such as food and medicine, creating acute shortages and stirring anger towards President Maduro. Inflation is currently at about 700% and people are now trading in food, Evan Goat, managing destination editor for Lonely Planet, told Mile Online Travel Venezuela is home to some of South America's most spectacular landscapes and natural wonders, but sadly visiting the country is becoming increasingly difficult due to the political situation, and the recent reduction in international flights is just one sign of the increasing instability in the country. The current Foreign and Commonwealth Office FCO travel advice is to avoid all but essential travel to Venezuela, and indeed to avoid completely some border areas with Colombia, and we would advise anyone considering visiting the country to remain vigilant and informed of the situation.